Hey John, let's throw together a real quickie here on how to deal with this washed out video problem on the Naboo. Uh, if I get a couple of scope captures, you've seen these before. This is why I think causes this problem. We've got this one volt bias here on the video that's coming out of the Naboo. And, and this, this should be zero, actually. These sync tips here should be down here at ground. Simple circuits you can make called DC restoration, which can move this down and make this thing correct. Why is it this way in the first place? Probably money, or maybe they're trying to make copy protection uh, uh, in, in play here. Maybe they didn't want you to record the output of your Naboo. I don't know. The bottom line is, the Naboo has a constant one volt bias here that lifts up this video signal. The signal itself is probably okay. It doesn't look too bad. It even looks a little bit better than my retro uh, uh, board does that I've been tinkering around with in another project. Uh, but my retro also has this problem. The whole TI-99 chipset will do this, period. It's only a matter of what you put on the output amplification circuitry and stuff that dictates how much of a bias is here or whether you have one at all. You can take it out if you design the circuit right. And if you're cheap and you don't want to put a lot of parts in there, guilty, <laughs> you end up with this, okay? Now, most TVs do remove this part of its normal operation and uh, part of what it does to deal with the analog protection system, all macro vision and so on. Yeah, every consumer wants to be hassled with copy protection. I feel safer already, right? Okay, so we have to defeat this. And video capture devices, VCRs and other display devices designed for recording may not do this because they're not supposed to due to the copy protection scheme. So let's thwart this, shall we? Um, I'm going to add a series resistor to the video signal coming out of my Naboo and just simply divide this linearly down and end up with a signal that looks like this. The amplitude here is smaller, but look at this, 670 millivolts. I moved it down. What I've done here is, at least for my capture device that I use, is move this down enough so that it can do its job. All right? Just this alone does wonders for me. Now, it also reduced the amplitude of the signal here, which could cause certain distortions that would also wreak havoc on the signal in other ways. However, most systems, including, you know, your little capture devices, your VCRs, stuff like that, will do a automatic gain control to some degree on this signal. What it does is it measures the voltage amplitude of the color burst signal at this time here. It's supposed to be a specific voltage. If it's not right, it'll scale the whole signal before it captures it, records it, whatever it's going to do, to compensate for the fact that this signal now is too short. Even if it doesn't do that, it might work well enough. At least well enough to convert this washed out signal here to this one here, which makes it far more palatable, at least to my eyes. And in the end, all that matters is, does it work? Does it look okay? That's it. We're not going for perfection here. We just want it to work so we can have some fun. All right, now to test this idea, I'm going to, I got this cable here that goes to my video capture device. This one here comes from my Naboo. Now, if you're going to do this, play around with it. You probably want to unplug your Naboo if you're not familiar with electronics, uh, you know, isolation transformers, grout fault interrupter, blah, 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 all the safety stuff that you could put on your bench like I have on mine. And I still get shocked from time to time. If you have ever had a conference call with me while debugging, you may know that already. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so to first make sure everything's all right before we do this, what we want to do is make sure that we've got everything plugged in right. So you got these two tips of these RCA cables here, and what you need to do is connect these two outer metal rings together and the tips to connector, uh, and the tips connected together here, right? So if I hold this very carefully like this, look at my screen, and I can see the all too familiar washed out video that I get on my capture device from my Naboo. All right, so I grab a couple of gator clips. I'm gonna test this idea here. And we need to connect the tip here to our 33 ohm resistor. This is a, 
half watt because that's what I had lying around. You could use a quarter watt or an eighth watt. There's no real energy being dissipated here. Nothing should heat up. Nothing bad should happen. <laughs> if anything bad does happen, then your Naboo and or your house wiring is faulty. Again, that liability is on you. You don't watch my channel without assuming a certain amount of responsibility for your own actions. So I'm going to hook the ground up with this uh, other gator clip and then make sure that the rubber boot is down here so I'm not shorting it out. Same thing on the other end. Over here. So now what I have here are the two shields connected. Those round rings are called the shield. And the two inner pins connected through this 35 row ohm resistor which is in series with the whole thing i look at the screen capture now and i see the color is vastly improved now if your knife and soldering impaired you're gonna have to go find a friend that isn't and have them help you do this you can butcher one of these cables and just solder this in line and then just have your own nabu video adapter cable that you can just use so if you cut your cable off and look inside. So I've done here, I kind of grab a knife and some wire strippers and chew away a little bit at this cable. What you're going to see inside there. I use our fingernails a little bit here. To, uh, I didn't get enough of it. There you go. And pull off the outer jacket here. You're going to find either a braided or just a bunch of cheap strands like this. This is the shield. Wipe the shield aside like this. Okay. Twist it around like so. Have a knife or a wire cutters or something like that. And then strip this away. This is the video signal that's inside. All right. This is the tip of your RCA connector. Where did mine go? There it is. That's the tip, the guy here. The outer ring part is this shield here. And you can see that this ring around the middle piece is exactly the same physical embodiment as this is here. You got this uh, shield around the outside and the uh, signal inside here. So I twist them around a little bit like this so that they're not all frayed all over the place. Same thing with the shield here. Now, what you need to do is grab your resistor like so. Solder one end over here. You're going to want to trim this back so it's like this. And then do the same thing on the other end of the cable and solder it over there. And then you want to connect this shield to the one on the other side, all right? And then tape it up or whatever you're going to do to hold it together. And there you go. That will give you your inline 33-ohm resistor in series with the output of your Naboo, a special Naboo video cable there, all right? So, uh, again, if none of this makes sense to you, you might find a friend that's got soldering irons and things like that that can help you with it. Don't ask me. I'm not going to mail these things out. Maybe somebody can start a little cottage business over on Tinder selling Naboo video attenuator cables or something. Now you can boot up your Naboo using the uh, tools from DJ's website at naboo.ca and uh you can get colors that actually look right <laughs> let me know how this uh, changes your naboo viewing experience comments below clearly my picture looks much better with the uh, signal attenuated a little bit your mileage may vary let me know what you think in the comments below as always thanks for watching see you next time